Welcome, Welcome to, to the Mariner, Mariner Morning, Morning News. News. Happy Monday. Today is National Yogurt Day. I have yogurt in my lunch today. Oh, you were prepared. I is like it, yogurt. Is it Greek yogurt? Yes, Greek vanilla yogurt. So good. The Chiobani, that's my favorite. So good. So good. Um, the varsity girls basketball team, we had a lot of sports action this mm. weekend, uh, despite the cold weather on Saturday, it was really, really cold. Yes, it was super cold, super cold. My goal was not to go outside. And I did that. I did. You went outside? Yeah. Friday night. I watched the um, funny boys play St. Stephen high school at in Black Harbor. It was cold, but not too bad, but we came out with a win. So it was good, great. Good. That's good. The varsity girls were on the road Friday night. They traveled to Leo Hayes and, um, they actually went into overtime and ended up uh, coming out ahead by three points. So awesome. good job, girls. Um, high school will be selling treats for Valentine's Day on the second floor today at lunch for this week. Right? Yeah, and middies will continue to sell their Valentine's treats on the third floor. So they'll be doing that today at break and at lunchtime. Awesome. Uh, drama today at lunch, Charlie whoever you are, Charlie, you need to go to room 307. And after school, the music is going to be flying. So if you're part of that, please make sure that you um, go to 307 for that meeting. The Varsity Boys hosted their seventh annual tournament this weekend at Funday. Despite having some good games, they came up short and uh, lost in the semifinals. All right, Knitting Club today in the Makerspace at 12.30. The Varsity Boys Hockey also hosted on Saturday. They hosted Nackwick, and uh, I believe they also came up short by uh, one goal. So good luck, boys, on your next game. Uh, middle Level GSA tomorrow at lunch in Miss Kingston's room. We also have five students who traveled to Fredericton this weekend to partake in Team New Brunswick for soccer. So that's Wyatt Cook, Oliver Stewart, Brendan Guthrie, Audrey Lovett, and Addison Fry. So good job well done. Good job. Uh, yearbook's on sale, so get yours um, before February 28th for a special price. They can be purchased online through Cashless Schools. I don't know how much they are, but I feel like when you go on, maybe 48, but I'm not 100% sure. But. I haven't looked, but if you want more information, I'm sure uh, Miss Moore and uh, Mrs. Pellerin would help you out with that. Exactly. Uh, Valentine's Day dance? Yeah, go for it. It is next Thursday, the 16th. Uh, middle school is going to be 6 to 7.30 and high school is going to be 8 to 10. Um, anything else on yours? No, I'm done for now. Okay. All up to you. So those you who take it home, <laughs> I'm taking it home. So, um, those who are interested in playing varsity boys rugby, please go to, uh, room 316 B on Wednesday at 1230. That's for anyone, um, any boys that are interested in varsity rugby this year. And also if you're in grade eight, um, it's coming on to spring, we're really hoping, um, and, and that means that we per start preparing for the moving up ceremony for June, and so please go to the whiteboard in the uh, third floor lobby for the email that we need for you to send your baby picture into, so... I do have something else, actually. Oh, okay. If you're interested in refereeing volleyball or basketball, please see Mrs. Bork, as she has more information for that. There's lots going on. There's so much between going on. clubs and sports yeah. and activities. We've yeah. got a lot. So. There is a lot. Yeah. Okay. So hope you guys have a great day. Happy Monday. Your Lady Mariners hockey team traveled north this weekend in the cold to compete in a tournament up in Edmonston. They faced Riverview in game one and had a tough loss Friday night, but they came back Saturday with close games against the home team and then against Campbellton. Daphne Hatt, Jamila Rivaretta, and Maggie Rutterham all walked away with a Player of the Game Award, and Casey Sutherland, Savannah Wilcox, and Rebecca Doherty all walked away with Sportsmanship Awards. The girls play again in Rossi tonight at 6.30. Good luck, girls. Our JV boys basketball team traveled to Woodstock this weekend for regionals. The boys played with their heart and displayed great sportsmanship throughout the weekend. They fought hard, but unfortunately fell short for qualifying for provincials. They are looking forward to next year. Good luck, boys. 
Our JV girls team hosted regionals this weekend at Fundy. They played hard and have placed third going into provincials next weekend. Good job, girls.